But first, it's something we don't like to think is happening in our community. Kids forced to be sex slaves. But what if human trafficking could be stopped by simply knowing what to look out for? Tonight, 10 News reporter Jonathan Betchamala shows you how life-saving training is reaching new heights. Flight attendants make their living flying, but few could be considered angels like Shalia Frederick. But she was for a teenage girl several years ago. Something in the back of my mind says something is not right. He was well-dressed. That's what kind of got me because I'm like, why is he well-dressed? And she is looking all disheveled and out of sorts, you know. The man wouldn't let the girl talk to Frederick, who was able to put a note in the bathroom for the girl. She wrote on the note that she needed help. The pilots were able to notify police who made an arrest for human trafficking. I've been a flight attendant for 10 years, and it's like I'm going all the way back to when I was in training, like, what in the world? I could have seen these, you know, these young girls and young boys and didn't even know. That's something every traveler could say. Look at this bird's eye view of Florida. It shows all of the hot spots for human trafficking. Nowhere hotter than right here in the Tampa Bay area. Already astute observers, flight attendants like Frederick are now routinely being trained in the signs of trafficking, like someone who appears to be being controlled, bruised or battered, or someone who won't answer questions or make eye contact. If you see something, say something. Providing a mile high mercy for victims of this modern day form of slavery. In Tampa, Jonathan Petromala, 10 News, WTSP. Florida's Department of Children and Families says human trafficking has increased 54%. They believe increased training has helped spot those cases.